Hi friends, it's Queen Alita and I'm back today with a prophetic message from the Lord based on a dream that I had on... Yeah, these days I just don't have the dates ready with me. This one was in November though, November 22nd. Okay, so um, welcome back to the channel. And of course, if you are new, you're most welcome. Glad that you're here. There is a quick disclaimer for those of you that are new. So if you know the disclaimer really well by now, you can just use the time markers in the description below this video to move ahead to the message. So if you are new here, it's so important to take note of the fact that not every prophetic message that I share here is meant for you. You have to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and be able to take it back to Him and just say, okay, Holy Spirit, this got me excited, or I think this is for me. I felt that it resonates in my spirit. Um, and just let the Holy Spirit give you the confirmation that you need, especially if he has not been uh, saying anything related to what I'm saying specifically to you. This could be a message that is not for you in this time. It's for somebody else. So make sure that you are getting that confirmation before you run with it and for some of you this is going to be a confirming message but if you have any questions please just make sure that you take them back to the holy spirit and get the answers from him it's all about that relationship with him that's the main thing that you're able to hear his voice for yourself so like I said, I had the dream sometime in November. And in this dream, the Lord was showing me a very specific um, plan of the enemy to come against you. It's an attack that he has launched or is going to launch. I think some of you are already experiencing this attack in this time. And this attack is designed to scare and intimidate you. I'm gonna quickly open up my notes here. So there's an attempt to uh, yeah to hijack an aspect of your life for some of you it's a ministry that the lord has had you involved in a ministry that you started that you are the leader of that you are in that driving seat of and the enemy is trying to hijack you he is trying to uh, intimidate you and um, scare you into submission he wants you to submit to him he's trying to get you to hand this thing over to him um, without realizing that you actually don't really have to so he's using intimidation um, and part of uh, like how the intimidation is coming is that it's coming through things that he's trying to do he's trying to um, almost like make his voice in your life louder and um, distract you through this fear that he's putting in your heart that um, that things are not going well for you you almost feel stuck right now some of you do feel stuck or whoever this message is for you feel stuck and it's because of this uh, attack that you actually are feeling stuck you, you don't realize that it's actually related it's an attack that is designed to slow you down so because uh, the enemy is trying to get you to partner with him he's intimidating you or you know this is something that some of you are about to experience but because of that um, and, and all the distractions that he's bringing in all sorts of ways making you think that you are um, dealing with this huge spiritual attack really he's just trying to get you not to fulfill the plans of the Lord he the devil always try even though the Lord has spoken over your life the fact that you, there's nothing that can stop you because God has ordained these things in your life. You have to do the ministry. You have to um, have the things that he has promised you. But um, it's like the enemy has just brought in this, this intimidation, causing you to be fearful and think that you're not making any headway, making you feel stuck, okay? But you are not... Um, you don't have to be in that position if i can put it that way the lord put it on my spirit as i was like listening back to this dream because i for those of you who don't know i record my dreams i make voice recordings it's just easier for me than writing them down and sometimes because i have so many dreams in one night and i'm trying to remember everything it just makes it easier to record 
Um, so I was listening back to it and I just got the sense that the Lord wants you to secure your ministry by praying. Okay. You have to pray. And the most strategic thing that he would like you to do is call on the name of Jesus, call on the name of Jesus and secure what God has given you through prayer. Some of you may have to fast. Um, it really depends on what, yeah, where you are spiritually. Because of these attacks, some of you have really found yourself um, not really being in tune with the Holy Spirit. You're struggling to connect with the Lord. So you may have to just go into a time of fasting in order to f- to get that closeness again in order to be in tune with the Holy Spirit and in order to hear his voice clearly and hear his direction the way that he is trying to lead you. So make sure that you are ready with your strategy to pray because this is the thing that's going to get you out of this particular attack. Now, it's so important for you to understand that the enemy cannot do anything. In the dream, it was it was like the enemy came with with like this big voice and and just saying things and trying to scare you but he did not he was not able to physically actually do anything he could not do the thing that it appeared he was trying to do in the dream so even though it looks like this is what's happening it looks like the enemy is hijacking your things it looks like he's still um you know for some of you you've really had to contend a lot so it may look like he's still there he still um, got his hands his grip on these things that the Lord has given you but it's not the case at all he's lost all power he has nothing on you you need to rise above it all and remember who you are in the Lord and use your power and your authority to overcome these attacks okay Um, I just want to share with you quickly that this happened to me um, a little while ago where I was just feeling like I'm not, I'm struggling to connect with the Lord. It felt like things were just not uh, moving forward. I felt stuck. There were so many things happening around me that I could perceive in the spirit that um, had been tactics that the enemy had used in the past to attack me. So now I'm seeing all of that and I'm thinking, Oh my goodness, all those prayers that I did, all that um, breaking of the enemy's plans over my life, like he's still doing it, like he's back and he's doing it again, but it's nothing but a smoke screen. It is nothing but a smoke screen. You have to bear that in mind. Every prayer that you prayed, when you dealt with what the devil had done in your life, you were able to be victorious because the word of God says that we are victorious through the blood of Jesus because of the blood of Jesus because of what Jesus did for us on the cross we have victory so shift your focus to to the fact that we have victory focus on Jesus Christ and call on his name pray over this particular ministry whatever aspect of your life it is where you feel like you've been under this attack and do not let the devil have his way when this happened to me a little while ago i just remember just snapping one day because i'd heard something outside in the middle of the night and i to me that was a sign of witchcraft and i was like i'm tired of this So instead of just being angry, I actually said, you know what, I'm not even going to feed into just being angry and frustrated. No, I'm just going to get up and pray. And I hadn't been praying like that uh, because I just felt so blocked and so stuck. And so I just went into prayer and I just spoke the truth. I, I decreed God's word. I just spoke scripture over my life, over my situation. And what I was hearing, it was a bit scary. It just ceased. It just stopped. And I knew that in the spiritual realm, things were happening. Things were moving. And that's just how it is, guys. When you call on the name of Jesus, and of course I called on the name of Jesus. I forgot to add that part. You will see the Lord move. Like I was just amazed at how quickly that whole thing that was happening in the spiritual realm which i could sense and which i can actually physically hear just stopped and even after it stopped i just was like flowing in prayer and i just continued to pray i continued to cover all aspects of my life 
my ministry, um, everything that God had given me because it, it had just felt like something was just trying to get me to not move forward. Like I was stuck and it felt a little bit delayed, but um, I overcame that because I just I just knew in my spirit, I have to pray. I have to call on the name of Jesus and I have to use my authority. I had not been doing that. I had felt a bit defeated and like just tired. Like, why am I still dealing with these things? But in, in that moment, when I was just hearing what I heard, I just snapped and I said, no, no, I have power and authority over this. So when you pray like that, things happen instantaneously. You need to understand that it's not a case of, well, you know, I put the prayer in, so hopefully I will see change soon. No, you will see change in the moment that you're praying. I have seen this happen time and again when I can perceive things happening in the spirit, just um, demonic activity, and I just go into that authority that I have. I tap into the authority given to me by Christ Jesus, and immediately, 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 the atmosphere changes. Immediately, whatever was happening ceases and the devil has no power. He, he's just never had power since Jesus Christ died on that cross for us. So in Matthew 28 verse 18, Jesus Christ actually said, um, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. This is the very same authority that he has shared with us. You know, in Romans 8 verse 17, I think it is, um, it talks about how we get to share in his glory, how we are joint heirs. It's around there, maybe verse 16, I'm not sure. But we are joint heirs. We get to inherit everything that Jesus inherited. We didn't even die on the cross, but he did. And we still get to um, partake in that uh, just as much as we have partook in sufferings. You know, we have had to suffer. So um, that authority that Jesus... Um, where is it? I just want to go back to verse 18 that was given to Jesus. That authority that was given to him has also been given to us. We see that in Luke 10, 19, which says, um, behold, this is Jesus speaking. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Okay. Nothing is going to hurt you. The enemy's hands are tied, 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 tied. He's just out here with scare tactics. This attack is designed to scare and intimidate you. Do not feed into the fear. Excuse me. Take a stand and take your authority. Use your authority, I mean, and the power that you've been given through Christ Jesus. So that is today's message, friends. I really pray that it's blessed you if it's for you. And I will see you all in the next video. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friends, are so deeply special to him.